Hey, what's up, everybody? Nintendo's E3 Direct aired earlier today, and honestly, it wasn't the greatest. They had, like, a huge Smash presentation, which was absolutely amazing. Yeah, but that was it. But, yeah, the other titles were kind of lacking. Not to say they don't I mean, look good, it's just, like... E3, yeah, they, I mean... Nintendo E3, put, where's We didn't get them? Metroid Prime, yeah. we didn't get anything, really, about Pokemon... Generation 8, which is fair because we did get okay. mention of that at the Pokemon pre uh, press conference earlier when they announced Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. But uh, let's just get right into it. Nintendo started with this absolutely crazy looking this, game. Oh, it looked, this was nuts. like outside of Smash, I think this was my favorite thing they showed. Yeah, it, it was looked awesome. Like heavy metal, it looked kind of self-shaded, but kind of not. It, yeah, yeah, I thought it was Zone of the Enders at first. Yeah, it's just yeah, these I, giant mechs. I thought it was Armored Core, but... It was... Nope. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's called uh, Daemon, or Demon, however that's pronounced. I'm guessing... Daemon. Probably, probably I think Daemon. Daemon. I think Demon because, da unless the main character's name is Daemon, that doesn't make sense. Well, we'll go with Demon for now, because yeah. we've seen Sounds it spelled good. that way before. Sounds cool. Uh, Demon X Machina you're is the devil, that game. And you're so, driving a mech. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, you're fighting giant mechs, doing dual techs with buddies, and yeah. Yeah, it looked like absolutely it. nuts. It, I, I don't know if they said who the developer was, but it looked very, uh, like, Platinum Games-esque to me. I really, really want more from that, because, like, yeah. It was just a balls to the wall, heavy metal, awesome action trailer. But it's a great way to yeah. start yeah. it. It was now, great. The trailer came to an abrupt stop. We thought that the uh, we thought our live stream, stream had paused. was messing up. But <laughs> but other than that, that got me so pumped. Yeah. Uh, after that, we got a look at Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, it was some DLC for uh, Tora. Torna of the Torna. Golden Country. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever the hell that name is. Torna of the Golden Country. Um, Looked pretty sizable. Yeah, yeah it did. So. It's cool that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is getting DLC. And, I mean, moving on. That's pretty much all there is to say about that. Uh, <laughs> then we got some, you know, Pokemon information, which was cool. I'm mad about it. Uh... Where you're getting Mew in the Pokeball Plus. So if you buy the Pokeball Plus, you will get Mew. They said exclusively. Yeah. That's how you get it. Well, you haven't pre ordered anyway, so why do you care? Because it's bullcrap and they should have put him under the truck. They should have put him under the truck. But <laughs> could you <laughs> trade him to yourself from Pokemon Go? I don't Maybe. think there's a limit to that outside of the 151, so. Yeah, I don't. I mean, if it was exclusive to the ball, sure. Like. Maybe not, but is it actually exclusive? We don't know, but yeah, Mew's coming in the Pokeball. I just hope there's plus. a way to catch him, but I'm really doubting it. Yeah. Either way, I mean, you get your your HM slave right off the bat, so that's cool. Yeah. Um. Then we got this fun little trailer. Is the first? Is it the only trailer with actual people in it? Yeah. Yes. Which was a a great like surprise because I don't really care for that too much. Yeah, I don't, except on this one. It helped explain it did, how yeah. things were going to work. Super Mario Party. They finally announced a new Mario Party. That's what everyone has been clamoring for it since looked, the last one to no, make up yeah. for the last one. I was going to say, we've been clamoring for a good Mario Party. <laughs> yeah. And this one looks good. You can, play, you can play as a Goomba. Yeah, I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, it has and this weird thing where I don't know if it's download or? play. Or if it's you have to have two copies of the game. If it was download play, that would be incredible. I hope it's download play. You use two switches to play it. And I don't can, know like, you how. Can, like the... set up your arena or something, however you want. And yeah, I don't really I know how draw, that would draw, work. Draw your finger across to link them, or if you have to do it in handheld mode for that. Yeah. Like it, it might just be like take your switch out of the dock and put it in this, and like they just made like. This court, they made their own courts. It yeah. was awesome. Um, then they showed some like motion control mini games, which are probably gonna be really fun because the Joy Cons have pretty good mo motion controls. Way better than the Wii controllers. Even yeah. the Wii Plus is ever good. And I mean, it was just more that it looks to be more uh, like against. 
pe like other players, so you're not really like working together and riding around in the car. And I mean, <laughs> thank, God. thank God. It looks like it's at least taking a step in the right direction towards the Mario Party we all know and love, and that breaks up friendships. <laughs> now, this one I am like third most excited for from this conference after Smash and Demon X Machina. Uh, Fire Emblem: The Three Houses. Uh, yeah, yeah, this I'm, game looks nuts. I'm not looks super good. into Fire Emblem, but I did have the one on Game Boy Advance with the assist trophy faster from Smash. I think her name is Lynn. I had yeah. that one, and it was fun while I had it, but some guy stole it, so <laughs> never had it again. So, yeah, I might be diving back into Fire Emblem with this, because it looks like it's making some changes that I'm going to enjoy. Yeah, I, I agree. I love me some RPGs and JRPGs. Whatever it is, I love it. Uh, and this is like a strategy game that kind of seems to have like the RPG elements of like the intricacies and stuff, but like dialed up to the next level. And this one just, I don't know what it was yeah. about me. It just got me. Something resonated. Yeah. And I haven't played a fun or not a fantasy. I haven't played a Fire Emblem in a long time either, so I'm not really sure what features are new, like the formation system. There was a like, like how army. The, it shows on yeah, this it shows the army like charging I'm, at each other. And, I'm just wondering if there's the breeding system, like in uh, <laughs> like Awakening or whatever it was, where you could hit hook people up and then travel time travel and get their kid, and that's, yeah. that's your soldier now. Yeah, but Fire Emblem Three Houses, something about it is just working excellently and it has made me want to you know get into that series so I probably will whenever this comes out then we got the start of the 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 leaks were true and Fortnite was announced for switch yeah. yep downloading it right now yeah it's I already <laughs> have it I've lost three times already it's awesome and I mean it's Fortnite even if you don't it's, like Fortnite, it's super popular. Shut up. Uh, it's yeah, it's fine. free. Yeah, it's, it's free it's and free. it's super popular. And it's gonna, it could attract more Switch uh, owners, which gets from Nintendo more money, which gets us more games that you probably won't want to buy. It also <laughs> could attract more Switch developers and reel in like more third-party titles for the Switch. Could do that. Yeah. yeah. I I really want some Nintendo exclusive outfits. Though. I really wish that was the thing there, but it doesn't seem. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't see it happening, yeah. but uh, Octopath Traveler was briefly touched on, which was good because the game comes out in uh, July. Yeah. And this was the cool, coolest part to me, that they announced a new demo was coming out, not the one we played before. And I wish they would have said it. That would have made it like way more, you know, more of a fanfare to it. But they yeah, just said it on a little text, text at the bottom. bottom. Your save data from the demo will transfer to the game. That's kind of cool. And that, that is, is cool. That's, that's one of really the first cool. times I've heard of a demo doing that. Uh, like sometimes they'll the only other one I can bring think in of extra Explosion items. Man. Explosion Man did that. Okay. That's the only other one I can think of. Yeah. And then a lot of the Pokemon ones, you'll just start with like some other Pokemon or some items. Yeah. And, yeah. and after that, we got a quick sizzle reel of a um, few upcoming titles like the Crash Bandicoot trilogy, uh, Dragon Ball Dragon Fighters. Ball Fighters, that's awesome. Yeah. Bring uh, it is coming out. Uh, we have it. Overcooked out. Two is coming yeah. out and we, is available for pre-purchase now. What was that one? A Hollow Knight. That looks Hollow Knight. Cool. Yeah. Well, that, I don't think that was part of the sizzle reel. That was part yeah. of the like, well, yeah, but they, indie. They yeah. mentioned it quickly. But that's yeah. out today. Yeah, yeah, that's out yeah. today. Nice, I love. When I forgot that wasn't part of the sizzle reel. If they bring in Captain Falcon to fighters, I will buy that game again. Yeah, that would be so really that cool. Would if be there's ridiculous. Any form of exclusive content for that. Like Captain Falcon, for some reason, is the only one that fits. I don't know. <laughs> for me, at least. But speaking of Captain Falcon, yeah. Speaking after of the sizzle reel, there you were just like, well, here's a face you might recognize, and it's Sakurai, and he tried to fake us out, and <laughs> he looks like he's yeah, he looks like he's 13, but he's like 50, Japanese face. Oh, okay. And then we got this awesome trailer for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Ultimate. Yeah, it's got a subtitle now. Yes. Oh my god. Like, it started and it was just showing everybody's number that they came into the series with, and then it was like, oh, Ice Climbers. 
awesome. Yeah, I was, like, yeah, I was so predictable. Happy. Solid awesome. snake. Is Solid. Back? Yeah. Freaking snake is back, and, then, and with him the, comes yeah. every other yeah. fighter like we wanted. It was such. Yes. We called that it in was, the hopes and fears months ago. It was such oh. a double whammy of awesome. Because you were just like, oh, snake. Oh, everyone. Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> everyone <laughs> I is was here. I was happy to see Pichu's little ass hop out there, and I just despise him. Then we got three links. We yeah, we got yeah. three Shit. links. Uh, oh man, it's yeah. it's absolutely nuts. Shit! They like, announced uh, Daisy is a new character. Yes, they I don't. Showed the Inklings finally playing, and they sound absolutely they, amazing. Yeah, they do. Waluigi's still an assist trophy. Thank God. Yeah. Unfortunately, Bomberman is also an yeah, assist Bomberman trophy. Yeah, Bomberman came to play. Why? But only as that was trophy. that was such like, a fake out because he dropped in. I thought he was, I was a new like, character. Yeah. Oh. Nope. Yeah, that was very disappointing. But we did get a brand new character with the one everyone has been wanting. I wouldn't say we called this, but everyone has been calling this yeah. since Melee came out. Uh, Ridley is Ridley. finally in Smash. He ain't too big. And to get around his I mean, size. He's pretty tall, but uh, he's, yeah. he's all crouched. They made him so he crouches, but it looks like he can stand up, whether that's a taunt or maybe it's like a stance change, so he plays differently when he's standing. I don't know. Yeah. But that looks. Ridley is it? Ridley is in it! Ridley! Now that, that. Alternate costumes. Yeah. I forgot to mention we that. Mario's got two confirmed ones. Wedding Link. outfit, builder outfit. Link can do. Link has champion uh, tunic and tunic, tunic of the wild. wild. And there's three. Yeah, like and we said, three we saw uh, Ridley uh, Cyber Ridley and Meta Ridley. Or Meta Ridley. Young Link yes. is back. I'm assuming he has fire arrows. And yeah, Toon I was Link excited to back. see Young Link come back. We already covered all the big stuff. Now we're going to dive into some of the more small stuff. Link's got remote bombs now. Yeah. Like, Other than that, I didn't see any changes to his move set. His he still has the spin attack. He he, yeah, shoots, he looks he shoots, he shoots two, two arrows, arrows at once. At once. Yeah. I think they're gonna like go like this. I was kind of yeah. I was kind of hoping for Revali's Gale to be his up beat, but also that wouldn't damage. So yeah, I just wanted him to have a better recovery because that's like his one weakness. Well, he just needs better jumping. Not his recovery is fine. Oh yeah, but he can't jump for thick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Link got some changes, but not too many. Mario. Everyone got changes. Yeah. They changed. They it added looks, some cool new stuff. It looks into like they're it. refining every character. You can air dodge to the side now. Yes, that's absolutely incredible. I mean, they did this whole video talking about these tiny changes to every character. Like every character seems to have some form of quirk or ability they can do Game that's special to them. Game & Watch looks different when he does different attacks, so yeah. he'll look like yeah. the Game & Watch thing he does. Yeah, I love just, that. Instead of just doing the attack. And Final Smash has got a massive overhaul. Yes, yeah, did. Final Smashes seem to be just like the auto ones, because we saw with Sonic, he zip zooms across the stage as Super Sonic Donkey as fast as he probably should. Donkey yeah. Kong just straight up murders everything. Yeah, straight out of Donkey Kong, he just punches them until they die. Uh, and then probably one of yeah. my favorite parts of the trailer, Ganondorf is now styled from Ocarina of Time Ganondorf. Like, I really hope Twilight Princess Ganondorf is still like an alternate costume or something. Hopefully. But the fact that he turns into Demon King Ganon. Yes. And, and it looks like he's he at least has less. His, he yes. has his sword. It looks it's like part of his moveset. Looks like he's at least less of a clone. Yeah, it yeah, looks like yeah. he still's got the warlock punch, but I know he's Thank God. he's got a sword. Um, that's all we know. We haven't yeah. seen much of him. I mean, so we need to watch the invitation. We'll see what we can find of, of Ganondorf if there's any. I'm most I'm almost more curious about him than anybody to see how clone he still is. Well, because he doesn't have the Epsilon symbol. Yeah, he's yeah, not like an Echo the, Fighter. Like the Echo Fighters do. Like the, yeah, that's what they're calling clones now. Dark Pit is an Echo Fighter. Daisy's oh. an Echo Fighter. It, and oh man, it was a lot of information, and they took half of their direct to give it to us, yeah. which was just amazing. Totally worth it. Uh, and we're gonna be breaking down the Smash video in the future, trying to pick out everything we can possibly find. So we won't really talk about it here. Stay tuned for that in the future. But ultimately, Nintendo's press or not uh, press conference, Nintendo's direct for E3 was it was good 
but oh, not yeah. great. Okay. It was like, uh, if like, we're gonna like if we're gonna grade it like A B C D F, I'm gonna give it a solid like B minus. Yeah, that's yeah. Fair. I would give it that. It would have been a C or a, it would have been a, a D. It may have been an F if Smash wasn't there. Yeah, because yeah, like we got no Metroid, we got nothing. We didn't yeah. get Metroid. We didn't get any Pokemon information. We didn't get the new Animal Crossing that everyone is wanting on Switch. We didn't really get any. I mean, then key again, I don't Nintendo think, like first party game announcement. I don't know that Animal Crossing is. I know it's popular, but I don't know that it's necessarily like hype enough to show off at E3. Oh, it's hype enough. Well, I mean, everybody's I know, excited but to get it's in such jet. A, it's such a chill yeah. game, and E3, like, most everything they show is, like, crazy intense. Yeah, but since so, when does Nintendo listen to what people think? That's true. It's, it's more intense why, than that Yoshi game they that, showed last year. Oh, why didn't we get that? Where is that game? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm guessing they gave up on it. I that Yoshi game. Yeah, they canceled is, that. It's, gonna it's take... dying. It's dead. It's <laughs> never happening. It's gonna... I haven't heard a single mention of it since it's then. It's going to take five years longer than normal, like Epic Yarn. Or not Epic Yarn. Kirby's Yoshi's Epic Yarn of... Woolly, Woolly World. World. Woolly World. World. <laughs> oh, that was a mess. I could not think of that to save my life. Oh, I'm too excited for Smash. But yeah, Nintendo's Direct wasn't the best ever, but it, it had an amazing game to show off. There were, there were and some, some yeah. other pretty good ones. Yeah, there were some highlights for sure, not, even, not counting Smash. But mostly it was just stuff we already knew. Yeah. Yeah. And, I yeah. mean, it's like Scotty said, solid B-. minus. Solid that's Snake B minus. <laughs> sure, but that's what we thought of Nintendo's E3 Direct. Let us know what you liked in the comments. Uh, we're proud. We're pretty sure you're most excited for Smash. So let us know what you liked most about the Smash video in the comments. If you're not excited for Smash, let us know about the other games. And we will catch y'all later. We will be coming out with a lot of breakdowns now that the conferences and directs are done for E3. It's just like showing gameplay demos and more stuff. If there are any announcements, we'll get them to you, but we are now in breakdown mode. <laughs> Stay tuned for Smash, Kingdom Hearts, Spider-Man. Uh, we we're going to be doing a we lot. We have so many trailers Anything, to break down. <laughs> if we can think of a decent amount of content for it, we're going to break it down. Yes. Like some stuff, maybe not... No new stuff, yeah. like Ghost of Tsushima or anything. Don't don't hold oh, yeah, your breath I for could, that. Yeah, break. don't hold your breath for Demon X Machina because we don't know what yeah, what we, is going on. Yeah, you want to break down Ghost of Tsushima? Go get like a uh, feudal Japan history book. I'm I'm good. But I mean, that's, that's, that's <laughs> anyways, we'll catch y'all next time with more breakdowns and E3 stuff this week. Ah, we forgot to mention about that we called Battlefield mode. Smash! Hey, thanks for watching. Did you like the video? Why don't you hit that like and subscribe button? It really helps us grow the channel. And don't forget to ring that bell to join our notification squad. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I put the links in the description just to make it easier for you to get to. And we will catch you next time for the next video from the Bro Trio.